two men walk into the octagon, one walks out. Well, you got to count the referee. And if there's a big old melee at the end of the fight, well, that's something too. Hello, this is Octagon St. Laveau, and I'm your hostess, Betty St. Laveau. On this show, we talk about the history of MMA, and because I'm a novice, I will continually cite such great um, channels such as Alpaca Thoris with that smooth-talking Mr. Curve and Reverend Kitty, Luke Thomas, uh, Monday Morning MMA Show, Weasel, uh, big daddy of them all, kind of up with alpaca, is uh, mixed molly whoppery. Plus we have Cranach and Mind Smash and MMA on point. So there's so much to choose from. Not every MMA channel is great, but the ones I just mentioned have helped my path become so wonderful. Uh, exploring UFC and MMA. So let's get on with the show. Now, um, today, uh, I want to say that my man, Mr. Kuv, Alpaca Thesaurus, uh, had taken such a hiatus on YouTube. We were all worried about him. But Mr. Kuv came back with two excellent videos. You all need to check those out. Mainly, um, I believe one's about John Jones, and I can't remember what the other one's about. I can't wait for his breakdown on the Linus, Amanda Nunez and Chris Santos, Christian Cyborg, their fight as of a couple weeks ago. A big shout out to Amanda Nunes, who is the first woman in the history of MMA UFC to hold two belts at the same time, bantamweight and featherweight. Hope I've got that right, Lioness. Love you, hon. All right, so um, 19th of January, we've got a big old fight uh, card coming up. Um, Alexander Hernandez versus Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Paige Van Sant, excellent fighter, against Rachel Osevich, who looks a bit larger than Paige. Gregor Gillespie uh, versus Yancey Medeiros. Pardon me if I pronounce that name wrong. Um, my man Weasel says that Mr. Gregor Gillespie is probably going to take that fight. Um, Greg Hardy and Alan, oh, I hope I got that right, Alan Crowder. And then the Main fight of the night, Henry Sujudo versus T-Day Dillashaw. Mr. Killshaw is probably going to win this one, I think. He looks a little bit lethal in the octagon. All right, so, um, oh, I wish I had brought my, I did, excellent. Okay, so I just discussed that the, the fighters who are going to be fighting in the next UFC, uh, uh, match. The weight class is something that I've had to learn about, and I t just took a crash course in it. So some of the people I just mentioned, I've got their weights. For instance, Alexander Hernandez and Donald Cowboy Cerrone, they're um, fighting at 155. Paige Van Sant and Rachel Ostovich, I believe, Hmm, I don't have their weights. I'm thinking that it's strawweight division. Uh, Gregor Gillespie and Yancey Medanos, I just have their reaches and their leg reach, reaches. I don't have their weights. However, Henry Segito and TJ Dillashaw, I do have their weights down. Flyweight. So we're going to head into the definitions for the different weights weight uh, classes, all right? So straw weight is only for women. And um, Carla Esperanza was crowned the inaugural champ. She only had the crown for three months, though, until Joanna Zizetic won it, and Joanna hung on to it from 2013 to 2017. Um, Flyweight is the tiniest, and I think that that's 120. From what I remember, she beat the current um, I believe uh, strawweight, uh, bantamweight, Rose Namanuja. So Rose did not win the first UFC Women's Championship, but Rose is our um, current belt holder. Great fighter. I love Thug Rose. Next we have, okay, first is strawweight, then we have flyweight. And that's the lightest class in the men's division. Demetrius Johnson, Mighty Mouse, won that inaugural title. He held it for five years and he defended it 10 times. Demetrius Johnson is um, said to be 
the um, pound for pound, I think, best fighter in his division. Um, he was recently traded for Ben Askren, who is trying to, he's looking for a fight in the UFC right now, and I don't think that he's found anybody yet. But Demetrius um, just got traded for Ben to some other uh, championship fighting uh, company, and I can't remember the name offhand. All right, next we have Ben Weight. That's 126 pounds to 135. Dominic Cruz held this title two separate times, and he defeated three times. And then he lost uh, the reign to Cody Galbraith, uh, UFC. I, say, I see I wrote 207 here. Now, in the women's division of Ben Weight, Roundy Ra Ronda Rousey had the title for three years until Holly Holm kicked her in the head back in 2015, UFC 193. And then um, Holly, I want to say that she lost it to Amanda Nunes, who in turn uh, defended it from Ronda with success. Okay, so um, yes, Amanda saw his Bantam, Bantam belt. Now we come to the featherweight division. That's Conor McGregor's uh, baby. Uh, that's his class, 136 to 145. And then he also won the lightweight at UFC 205. So he's currently holding, I still think, two belts. Um, and they say this term interim champ, for instance. I think Conor's been interim champ. So has Mr. Tony Ferguson. And I have to just figure out what that definition means. So I hear it all the time. All right. So the women's division featherweight inaugurally was won by Jermaine Durandamay. Uh, and that division started the year before last, in 2017. Next, we come to lightweight. Connor currently holds that belt at 155 maximum. Welterweight, with a maximum weight of 170 pounds. GSP, George St. Pierre, very elegant fighter, held that belt from 208 to 213. Next, we come to the middleweight division, 185 pounds max, I believe. Anderson Silva and Dan Henderson. Uh, are the big daddies of that particular belt, I believe. Uh, Anderson won the belt from Dan Henderson, UFC 182. Next we come to light heavyweight, uh, particular, I'm fond of this weight class, 186 to, I believe, 215 pounds. Chuck Liddell, Frank Shamrock, John Jones, Tito Ortiz, and my man Chael Sonnen uh, usually fight at light heavyweight. And last but not least, we come to heavyweight um, and such excellent lethal fighters as Cain Velasquez and Randy Couture have held that belt. And Stipe Mikulkic is the, pardon me, Mr. Stipe, pronounce your name wrong, is the current holder of that belt. Whew, I love looking at the divisions. So I believe the men's, the men's have seven divisions and the women have three. So that will be explored um, more in the future. All right, so um, let's look at the women's, uh, at the fight card for the women, uh, for a hot second here. Paige Van Sant and Rachel Osevich. I've not heard of Miss Osevich until today, but um, whenever I'm trying to figure out who I think is going to win, because I'm still a novice and I can never pick a winner, um, Rachel had the bigger thighs. And I remember when Tyrone Woodley, uh, congrats again, he's the current champ of, I want to say, middleweight. Um, when he won, uh, defend, I think, the title from Darren Till, I noticed that he had the bigger thighs. So I'm thinking that the wrestler who's got the biggest thighs wins, but that's just me. So she's heavier than Paige, but Paige has more wins. She's 740 and Rachel's only 440 and she's more experienced fighter. So I think that uh, Ms. Van Sant's going to take this one. From what I remember uh, when I was uh, learning about uh, Rose Nemanujas and Joanna Jasek's um, matches together, fights together. Um, I think, from what I remember, uh, Joanna uh, Rose beat Paige. So 
with the female fighters, I don't really know much about them, but Paige's name is very familiar, and she seems like a good sport. Um, I have also see, saw her at a weigh-in. Um, I love the fighters who usually shake hands, and as a matter of fact, uh, most fighters do. There's camaraderie and respect for one another. Um, it, when the beefs do happen, they are real beefs, but about 80 percent, 90 percent of the time, the fighters um, show good sportsmanship, which is another reason why I've come to like this sport. Now, um, I don't know, the only two names that are from, familiar to me on this fight card are Donald Cowboy Cerrone, who um, on YouTube and other fighters who are younger than him, they call him an old man, but I think that he's a veteran fighter and he's very good. He's coming up against Alexander Hernandez, who the weasel on his show says is a hungry. So you got to watch out for those up and comers. Uh, the only other name, the other name that's moved me is TJ Dillashaw because of his infamous feud with um, Team Alpha Male that Mixed Molly Whoppery covered with insight and good humor on his channel. You got to check that out. So I learned a lot about, uh, and not learned, learned a lot about, but I came to learn some more about Uriah Faber, T. Dash Dillashaw, Connor, and Cody Garbrandt, and Dominic Cruz in a way that I had not known about them a few months ago. Um, they, uh, Connor kind of gave him the nickname, I think, of Dill Snake. I don't think he had that before. I'm not sure. But Connor was calling him Mr. Dill Snake a lot. And I kind of call him Killer, Killer Shaw, or Kill Snake. Um, Mr. T.J. Shaw has a rep for um, being extremely competitive even when he's sparring. I would not want to come up against him in the octagon. No way, Jose. And um, a pal of mine who's in the MMA, he says his brother's more into it even than he is. We did this, um, who would you fight? And my man goes, I'd love to knock out T.J. T.J. Dillashaw. And for me, I, did, I don't really know who I would want to knock out, but... I would love to like take on Cyborg, but I know that Chris would just like knock me out, put me out of magma. She'd be like, yeah, okay, Betty, whatever. But I would love to go up against Amanda who would make me tired, have me submit and give me a good thrashing. But um, I would just fight them out of respect and thrill. But there's no one yet that I would really want to knock out. But T.D. Dillashaw, um, I'm a little bit on the fence with him because of um, his sparring from what I know of his sparring techniques. All right, so um, I'm thinking that that just might be it for me today. I'm your hostess, Betty St. Laveau. You've been watching Octagon St. Laveau here at Orca. I'd like to thank my crew here and especially Kellogg Hubbard Library that have helped me um, expand my uh, mixed martial arts repertoire. Also, um, forgetting that my brother Brandon's black belt, baby sister's brown belt, pretty sure my brother Justin's black, brown belt too, but my mom, Ojasana Klerich, was also a brown belt. And so no wonder, well, I'm the late bloomer in the family. I always get into stuff 15 years after everybody else has been studying it. At any rate, I um, hope you can check out uh, those channels that I was telling you about. Um, Keep your eye out open for some MMA gossip and definitions, and maybe you can give me a few pointers. Until next time, y'all, see you not in the octagon. Ciao.